What's going on everybody, Monty LSV6 here with a video review. Today we're going to be going over the iPearl Vertical Messenger Bag for up to a 12 inch laptop. Um, more specifically I bought this for um, my 11.6 inch Google Chromebook and there's still a little bit of room but I got some, uh, I got a sheet here that I'm going to be going over uh, in steps and in parts of what I'm going to be going over. Anyway, so let's begin. For the exterior, here we have um, product quality. Um, it is pretty good. Uh, the materials that it's made out of, it seems like it's some sort of like nylon. Ooh, and that sound gives me goosebumps. I hate that. I hate the feel and like, you know, those folders that you had like in grade school where it had like that square picture and it would just like it was like a holographic kind of thing. You would turn it and it would change positions or whatever it was. You would scratch that. Oh man. Oh. Anyways, that's kind of what it feels like it's made out of. Um, going on to the toughness of it. Um, it's, I don't know, I, <laughs> I haven't had a problem with it yet. I mean, obviously it's soft, so, you know, if, if someone really wanted to, and if something were to happen, there would probably be holes and, you know, slight scuffs and nicks and stuff. But so far, it's handled pretty good. Um, nice and durable, nice and tough so far. Uh, materials don't change. At all, except on the insides, right here. It's kind of a little bit softer. It doesn't really have like that nylon feel to it. I guess I'm not really sure what you would call that. Um, some people might think it's too thin. Like pe some people might think it's too thick. Um, for me, honestly, it's just right. You know, it does what I need it to do. Carries what I need it to carry. I love it. Um, very handy. I used to have a. Uh, pretty wide messenger bag it was like from here to here it's like that long and uh i had like a like an 18 inch laptop that i had in there prior to buying my chromebook and uh i don't know it's just heavy and bulky lugging that thing around all day um going into the portability I mean, it's just you know any other bag I guess you can say it's got adjustable straps here on the sides so you can adjust it all the way from a super tall person like myself or you can adjust it all the way down to <laughs> to uh, where it fits a you know an eight-year-old person a girl or a boy or whatever um, yeah it's, it's got a nice big pocket back here oh I didn't see that it's pretty cool <laughs> good for your chargers and other stuff like that going into the the weight of it with my I had my Chromebook in there I got my external hard drive I use for work a little USB stick my charging cables um, and I usually have my lap my Google Chromebook in a um, nice little protector this here yeah I usually have this in here as that I put my Chromebook in I'll be doing a review on this later on um i know i said in my other reviews but i had to uh study a lot for a certification test anyways going back to this and i had the chromebook in that case that you guys just saw stuck it in here and it was still so it still fit pretty nice i'm not gonna lie um very light you know not, you're not really gonna notice anything unless you're probably carrying it around all day but even then you know it's not a problem pretty very comfortable as you can see here, give you a little bit more of an outside view. Get the eye pearl, and then here you have your external pocket. You can also fit like maybe like a notebook or something like that. Here we have looks to be like a stainless steel zipper, along with the zipper track that it's on. Of course, that's black, but I could that could just be plastic or something else. But the zippers are pretty good on this. Very sturdy. So I mean, if you just like rip it off, then yeah, it's gonna break. But 
if you're if you're being gentle with it, you know, or just going like that back and forth, it's not going to break on you. So a little bit more of an outside. Here's a nice teal turquoise kind of color stripe that's on it. Here's the sides. Your side here you have just another pinstripe on the back. So you do have these teal accents. That's what they're called. Sorry, not pinstripe. Goes along the top cover of the bag, as you can see. And then we have more on the side. And the back pocket I showed you guys. Pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't have that uh, that folder feel <laughs> to it with the holographic screen on it or whatever. It's got a nice soft touch feel to it. So that it won't scratch your devices or anything like that. Here we have on the left side a pocket. And it's kind of a tight fit pocket. So you can probably fit maybe, you know, a power brick in there if you unplug it or something. Or you know a usb stick or something like that maybe you can fit a small mouse in there but nothing too big so like i said it was kind of it's a tight fit now going into the interior uh, it's got quite a bit of pockets in it you got vel two velcro straps on the top and i'll be getting into that later uh like i was saying a nice soft feel to this doesn't have like that folder feel um uh, velcro straps down here at the bottom what i do not get about this is before going get into the complaints and about this and you know what i had to say i don't know why they had this vertical and these straps were down down here were horizontal just like i, I don't i don't get it oh maybe it's because you can adjust the position of it i guess but still you should have made it at least you know lengthwise or something anyways this is the interior. You got two pockets here separated by a sewn divider here. Bigger pocket. You can fit um, probably a standard desktop mouse here. And you can probably fit it in here too. Um, rooms for your mouse, your keys, um, any type of accessories that I can think of. Um, calculator, um, a wallet, stuff like that. If you're out biking or something, if you bike to school or to work or whatever, what have you, you can stick your wallet in here. And here we have a place for a lanyard. So if your keys are in here and you're worried about them falling out, just to tie a string to it and you can tie it up to here or a lanyard so they don't fall out. You know, if that's the case or something like that. Here we have an internal zipper. And down here is where I have my external hard drive. I use this for work for uh it's an ultra i use this for work for uh working on pcs and it fits real nice in there so you can fit probably another notebook in there or something of the size or something that fits in there nice and snug on the inside here we have a couple extra pouches we have this one and this extends the length of the messenger bag small pocket in here I could probably fit three tablets and one laptop. Maybe a, I think I probably fit two, probably three iPads, the original ones, and one Chromebook. And maybe one MacBook Air, or you know, whatever that thin one is. So, pretty good size, uh, pretty good amount of room. Like I was saying, um, I got my charger stuff in here. This one's got a strap on it. So, if, if you don't like putting your um, laptop in this one, or you can put it in here so that way it won't fall out. It's got a nice security strap on it. And this is Velcro, nice and sturdy. And I got my charger here. Uh, just to show you guys, let's go ahead and close my Chromebook. Stick that guy in here. Probably gonna have to put this down. Nope. So, as I was saying earlier, I do usually have it inside this and then I put it in. And still, I mean, it sticks out mm, a little bit less than the edge of this here, but I mean, it's still pretty good. I love it. Does what I need it to do. You know. 
I'm not supposed to do it that way. But anyways, um, my complaints for this. Um, I usually don't really have complaints for anything. I'm a pretty easy going guy. And I'm understandable. But, um, you know, I mean, just like certain things that would just make this a lot better, you know. Uh, would be, I would love to see a handle on the top here. Uh, there's numerous times where I get in my car and I have this slung over my shoulder where I just, I just like reach down and like grab a strap or something and I end up holding it like this, you know, or I just grab the straps like this and carry it, bring it over my shoulder and put it in my seat. Pocket sizes, I think they could have done better on these pocket sizes. They could have at least probably brought it down to here and still have these Velcro straps. Um, and once again, with the Velcro straps, I, yeah, I understand that maybe you can fit like a large laptop in here, probably one that extends about up to here, but even then you're probably just pushing it to where it just latches on the very ends of the Velcro strip here, but I don't know. I feel like they should have made this, you should have turned it and made it vertical, just like the, uh, strips up here, but they latch on pretty good. I love it. Um, other than that, I don't really have any complaints except for the feel of it. It's just a personal preference. I hate this feeling, but, uh, you know, I love it enough to stand it. And I don't know that's just my opinion on it. But anyways, guys, I give this a nine out of 10. Um, I give it a nine out of 10 because of said reasons. If it had a strap, and the pocket size is a little bit bigger and it's kind of tight up here these pockets can't really fit a lot in here like i tried taking that external drive and it won't be able to it wasn't able to slide in here and granted that it's got rubber edges on it it's probably catching this you know the material but i'm sure you can fit a nice external drive in there or maybe a three and a half inch you know internal hard drive or something you know a book or whatever but like I was saying, don't overstuff these pockets. They are a little bit tight. Um, that's basically it, guys. Uh, go ahead and, and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, I'll do the best of my ability to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. And always, I appreciate it. And have a good day, and I'll see you next time.